So we'll put Thumper there. And then we'll get this party started with this guy. Oh, that is a crap ton of red dots. Run! Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to start uh, the episode by uh, smacking down the horde here. Horde night is starting. Horde 147. Uh, so we'll take care of that first, and then after that, um, we're probably going to go back to the base, get resituated, and then try our first tier five. Um, I am back uh, from my my a little over a week long trip. This is my first time back, uh, or first day back, I should say, and first time recording seven days uh, since I've been back. So I'll try and get this episode out to you guys tomorrow, which will be Tuesday, March the seventh, and then. Um, and then we'll just resume the series. I did mention, though, I think in the last series that uh, we are going to start winding this series down. Um, I still want to build the garage in our uh, um, base and, you know, maybe look into getting the helicopter. Um, are you kidding me? We have, we've got a, uh, a demo, right? Oh, yep, yeah, we do. Okay. Well, let's go turn on the dart trap. Uh, looking to get in the, you know, the, the chopper and maybe, I don't know, one or two other of the really good in-game things. And then uh, we'll probably wrap this episode up and figure out what's going to happen next in the 7 Days to Die uh, series here on the channel. Um, okay, so let's see. Take one of these. And uh, we're going to use explosives here. Explosives and molotovs. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. I gotta light these things. I was gonna throw a, a, a couple of them to get it, you know, a double, but you can't do that with Molotovs. Wow, first Zombo they send me is a Dibbo. Can you believe that? Um, in fact, that's him right there. We can get him some headshots off on him. Alright, he's dead. Alright, why don't, um, I think I'm going to go turn the dart trap back off because I have a limited number of darts. I was going to fill that sucker all the way up and I, I forgot to do it, so we got a pretty decent amount of iron at this point. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try a tier 5 out and we'll work on getting, um, our garage built on the base. And uh, once that's done, you know, we've more or less explored the map. I mean, I guess we didn't really explore the... Let's loot that. Uh, we didn't really explore that northern city a lot, but... It's actually smaller than our desert city, so I don't know that there's a whole lot to do there. There's the... I guess there's the book... I think that's the one that had the bookstore, so that might be worth going and doing. And maybe we could even get a tier 5 for it. I don't know. See if there's any other schematics that we need. So anyway, uh, you guys have seen me do this a million times. Uh, so I think from here on out, um, I will uh, either do a time lapse or I, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to record. I'm going to record the rest of the horde night. But if nothing phantasmagorical happens just because we have done this so many times with this base um, I'll just meet you guys in the morning and we'll go from there all right guys it is morning we had a very uneventful horde night this uh this design as it currently is is one of the best horde base designs I have I have ever done it's it's not the XP farm that some of my past bases have been, but in terms of just overall functioning, easy to maintain, safe base, it's uh, it's done really well. I mean, there was no point during the entire Horde night where, where I was even close to being concerned about anything, you know. Uh, I did have one Zeke glitch through the top grate, uh, but, you know, that wasn't a big deal. It was just a glitch, which does happen every now and then. 
So uh, let's go ahead and finish these guys off. We'll check the loot, which will probably be disappointing like it usually is. <laughs> and then we'll uh, assess the damage, which is very, very light. Um, I, I did, at one point I did do a little bit of touching up on the base here, but uh, for the most part, I haven't had to do much at all just because the uh, fence posts, you know, keep them stun locked the whole time. So yeah, very, very neat base design. Um, I've been thinking about variations of this design too, maybe for future. Uh, if you were to build like a standalone version of it or something like that. But I probably won't do that in this series just because we're winding things down. Uh, but, you know, maybe for a, you know, the next thing that we do. Uh, but yeah, just very bit, been very impressed with how it's worked overall. And uh, we have, uh, we got two levels tonight too, so we'll take a look at those once uh, all the fighting's done here. The nice thing about having this design um, on an actual building is just that we have, you know, all of the structural integrity of the entire building to add to the durability of the base, whereas if you built something standalone, you'd have to be a little more cognizant of its supports, you know, so the zombies aren't attacking it down below, that sort of thing. Um, they they have done some of that to this building, too, and, and honestly, even though I've said this a few times, <laughs> I, know, I actually haven't done anything at all, really, to shore up this building. It's just still the way that it's been, you know, all along. For the most part, if not entirely, so... We did have to do some work across the way to our our path leading up there a while back, but that, you know, ever since I upgraded that to steel, that's pretty much... I still check it, you know, to make sure it's it's okay, but that's been in pretty good shape, too. Um, why don't we slam back one of these, because we need some food, and we'll also take a mineral water. Now, uh, we got a, a treasure map there. But, yeah, I mean... It's basically, I've done three things all night. Molotovs, pipe bombs, and shotgun. And between, you know, those three. Uh, oh, and we did get, uh, I think we got two more demos, maybe three more demos that came in. Oh, it looks like we might have had some zombie spit, uh, or zombie buzzer spit hit the plating around that. Okay, that's, um, that's something we're going to have to deal with. And, you know, having the spike trap up there uh, works very, very well for helping to control the demolishers. Oh, no, we're not done yet. I was going to say, seems like we should have a few more. Is it just him? Yeah, he's coming back up. So, yeah. Very happy with, with how this base has performed. I should probably upgrade those plates to titanium. We did have, you know, some boss vultures come in towards the end of the evening. But uh, just, it, it doesn't get any easier than this, you guys, in an end-to-game horde like this. <laughs> it's just a walk in the park, really. Um, which is a testament, you know, to, to the design of the base itself. Um, a little bit boring, actually, for... You know, probably for you guys to watch and stuff. There's a yellow one down there. But, I mean, it's it's still... You kind of want it that way in, in a sense because, you know, you don't want to die <laughs> on Horde Night. So, okay. I think, I think we're done. So, let's turn our Ginny off. And we still have a pretty decent amount of fuel in there. And I'm going to offload a few of the heavier things so we have room for... Our, all of the loot down below. I'll worry about um, repairing. I'll probably just do that off camera. Um, that's probably good enough. Okay, so let's head on down and check things out here. But yeah, as far as damage goes, we need, need to touch that up a little bit. This block, um, this block is one block I can't really reach to repair, but even it's still you know, still about 60% intact, and that's for the entire night with explo non-stop explosives. Um, so, yeah, it's in it's in very good shape, all things considered. Had to, you know, repair the fence post a few times, but that's par for the course. 
Um, is this showing damaged? Here, let's get up over on this side. Nope, it's not showing damaged at all. We used about half of the darts I had in there. I had 600 and some odd. Uh, so the dart trap is fine, but we definitely need to make sure we get new shielding on that and upgrade that shielding to titanium. So like I said, I'll do all the repairing uh, on the base here off camera before the next Horde night. Let's head on down here. As usual, minimal damage to the ramp and stuff because they're all trying to get me up there. So they don't really mess around with stuff down here too much. Still have a victim? Yeah, we do. Yeah, they've done a bit of a number underneath here. I really, you know, yeah, I know I say this all the time. I really should probably shore that up just for SI calculation purposes more than anything else. Um, because it's, you know, right underneath where we're standing. So that better, we better put that on the to-do list before the next tour night. Okay, let's take our eye candy here. And we should have our luckies on. Yep, we do. All right, what do we got in the yellow one? Nothing. I mean, nothing super, super fabulous. That's halfway decent, I suppose. Okay, that's just the basic stuff. Let's go over here. A couple titanium plates. That's good because we can make the, uh, or, or get some research data from it. Okay. Um, I think, actually, there was a, a drop in the, in the little slot up there, too. So we should grab that on the way back up. I mean, that's decent stuff. It's not that any of this stuff is bad. It's all useful, but it's just lackluster, you know, for an end-game horde drop. That's actually, looks like it might be better than what we're wearing there. So we'll check that out after we get everything else looted. As matte mask. Okay, that's it for the high-end high end loot. Now we'll just get the basic stuff here. Improved armor fittings. Um... I mean, if I'm going to make these, I want to make the good ones. So I think I'm just going to scrap that for the research data. Okay. So, yeah, we better we better come down here and, and shore this up, fill all this crap in, and re repair it, reinforce it. Again, like I said, more for the, for the SI than for any other reason. We are... Oh, I guess I'm just crouched. I was going to say, how come I can't jump? Let's go check that other drop that's going to be in the slot uh, up above there. Hopefully it's still there. Also, I skilled up a few levels uh, in shotgun, so I think we're at 62 now in the you know, the actual skills that we earn as we as we go along. So that's good, and we're continuing to work on fortitude, which includes improving shotgun action. They've really uh Busted open all of this area here, which is something we might want to pay a little bit of attention to. Okay, more steroids. I'll take those. I will indeed take those. Okay, so while I'm thinking about it, let's take a look at our skills. Um, wait, our perks, rather. We have two perks. We are working on fortitude. Um, if we do we have an effective level seven we must because why is that locked oh you know why because we took the sham chowder right okay right so um we can do the next level in boomstick so shotguns have more damage fire rate faster reload speed by 50 percent stunned enemies for six seconds so we're going to take that and we also want to work on uh, pain. We have an effective five, right? 
or, or an actual five, right, okay. That's important because once the sham chowder wears off, if we took perks that required higher than that, then they wouldn't be in effect. So I could take this right now, but then once the sham chowder wears off, I wouldn't actually have it. Uh, so let's put a point in pain tolerance, and let's put a point into uh, healing factor. We're just kind of working on making ourselves a little tougher here. Wait. Oh, I guess I only had two points. Never mind. Okay, so we'll do healing factor in the future. Okay, takes care of our points right there. And so what I'm going to do is head back to the base, get some stuff put away, and we're going to go say hi to the trader and uh, take on our first tier 5 quest. Yes, I will fix my paint snafu at some point. It'll happen. It even snafued over here. Uh, that was a very expensive mistake if you guys didn't see that episode. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys here in just a little bit. Alright guys, I got everything put away. Let's uh, go ahead and swap out this leg armor because this leg armor is a little bit better. And also, let's repair this leg armor so it's in good condition. And it looks like the rest of our armor is in pretty good shape overall. Um, so we'll take this off, put that on. We will remove the mods from this. And put those on the new pants. And we still have room for one more mod that we could put on there too. Uh, we'll keep this steel leg armor, the old steel leg armor as a backup. Lord knows we need that on occasion. Um, and we could probably either sell or melt those down. And Yep, okay. Uh, oh, by the way, we do now finally, I don't think it matters on Undead Legacy, but we do finally have a full set of hazmat gear now, too. Um, I don't think we need this in here. So, yeah, whatever. I don't want to get too far into the weeds on that right now. Uh, there's a couple of things I'm going to uh, recycle. This will give us more um, uh, military fiber. Um, we don't need motorcycle handlebars. They don't sell for a ton of money. So I'd, I'd just be curious to see what we get if we melt those down. Um, however, I need to put some fuel in the generator. So let's grab some of that. And I'm also... Uh, getting really low on, um, what's those sell for? 821? I'm just curious to see how much steel we might get if we melt those down, so we'll do it for science. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? I can't remember now. It was just, I was talking about something, we need to go get oil shale, maybe that's what it was, I don't know. Maybe that's what it was. How's our garden looking? It is mostly ready to harvest, but I think I'll wait until these potatoes catch up and then we'll, we'll do the whole thing in one fell swoop there. And I'm going to leave the bees and the chickens for now too. Okay, so... Uh, oh, we, were, we need to put gas in the thingy. I'm a little scatterbrained today. I'm uh, I'm just I'm very tired, wiped out from my trip, so just kind of in zoner mode. Okay, let's hop down the cheaty way. All right, so just again, just out of curiosity, let's melt a couple of these down and see what we get from them. Um. I want to see specifically what we get from all that. This is. This is just the basic stuff we get, so let's let this melt down first. Just brass and lead and leather and all that kind of stuff. Well, we know we're going to get military fiber uh, from these, uh, so we'll do those, but I want to see what we're going to get from these three things if we, if we melt them. Okay, so let's see. Let's throw these in. I wonder if it matters if they're fully repaired as to what you get. 
All right, we got th three things of steel plating from those. Two things of steel plating. Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. If you guys know if if, you, if it's fully repaired, if you get more, let me know in the comments. All right, let's see what we get out of this. Oh, that's not recyclable, right? It doesn't have the thingy on it. Okay, gotcha. Well, then that means we might as well just sell it because there's nothing else that we would need it for. Uh, let's look at recipes. Yeah, it's only used to make the motorcycle, which we already have, so we, just, we don't need two of them. So we'll put that in the two-cell box, and then uh, we'll just put all the rest of these resources in their respective place here. The plastic's going to go here, and the military. Well, all of that stuff goes in here, actually. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so we got that taken care of. We've got uh, a couple of high-end food items that we can make, so let's do that next. Do, do that on camera. I, I usually do most of the food off camera, but we'll do it on camera this time. So we'll grab some waters. Um, we can make tuna fish gravy. But I think, well, actually, hold on a second. I think I did make some of those. All right, so this gives 90 food, 45 health, and 45 max stamina. Yeah, the shepherd's pie and the spaghetti is still better, and probably the gumbo is still better than the tuna fish, which is what I would expect. So these three are the, the three top end dishes in the game. Um, with spaghetti, I think, being the best, just because I think it gives the highest health. Yeah, or no. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Hyatt's food. 122 food and 61 health. Oh, it is It is better than Shepherd's Pie. Okay, what about gumbo? Yep, it's better than gumbo, too. So spaghetti is the top dish in the game. All right. So we can only make one of those, though. <laughs> um, And then we'll make, after that, uh, we can't make gumbo. What are we? Yeah, we're, we're missing the beef ration. So shepherd's pie would be the next thing that we'll make. We can make one of those. And then probably the next best thing that we can make is chamois chowder. And then after that, we're kind of back down to the more basic stuff. Uh, we can make some fish tacos. Sure, why not? And then usually either chamois chowder or, or meat stew are the, are the two foods that I carry, like, multiples of. And just, you know, they're my my regular go-to food. So we have six spaghettis and three shepherd's pies and four tuna fish gravy toast. Don't know if I've ever had tuna fish gravy toast. I probably had something similar to that, some kind of concoction, you know, but uh, not sure if I've had actual tuna fish gravy toast before. So yeah, there you go like to make some more mineral waters at some point. How are we doing on those? Uh, we don't have any extra other than these five here. So, what are we short on for that? Chrysanthemum. Okay, so, so we'll have to wait for the garden to, uh, first to harvest the garden to make those. And then I only, looks like I need to make a few more fresh waters too. Um, let's make 50 fresh waters. Oh, no, that's right. I keep forgetting it. It pulls. It pulls from the thingamadoodle. Okay, so 820. That'll give us enough burn time to finish that off there. Okay, we'll let those cook. Let's, um, we're, we could use a little bit of food, so let's just have some tacos. And then we'll put the empties in here. Um... Let's, no, I don't want to use regular water to top off. Let's do something a little bit better. Uh, uh, let's take a yucca. If we take a yucca and then do a regular water, that should get our hydration completely topped off. Okay, so we'll put these back in here. Put that in there. And now I think, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to set out and go do our first Tier 5 quest. Well, when I say ready, we're ready to start gearing up to go do our first Tier 5 quest. 
That's what I meant to say. Let's put that in there and repair it. Uh, looks like all the rest of our weaponry is in good shape. Uh, we already looked at our armor. It's in pretty decent shape. But, you know, Tier 5s, as all of you, I'm sure, are aware here in Alpha 20, are no joke. And I've never done an, a Tier 5 in Undead Legacy version of Alpha 20. Um, so I'm expecting it to be uh, very challenging. So we want to make sure we are really properly geared for this, which means we want to take a little more ammo than we normally would take, a, a few more meds, uh, probably some drugs, and yeah, that sort of thing. So let's 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 do ammunition first. So normally I just carry a stack of 500 762s, but I think we probably better double up on that. Um, let's take all the pipe bombs that we currently have. Um, I only have 12 Molotovs, so that's what we'll go with with those. I, we probably won't do a ton of sniping, so I think we'll be okay with just 119 rounds there. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do, though? I think I'm going to forego the pistol and the pistol ammo, just because we're not very skilled in that in our first Tier 5 uh, of the season is not the, the place to be <laughs> trying to trying to level up um, a weapon that we're not very good at. So we're going to put the pistol back in here for now. And instead what we're going to do is we're going to take a backup assault weapon. And probably that's going to be the this far here. Um, the stinger. This could probably seriously come in handy for us. In fact, you know what? Let's take the sledge turret as well. We might be able to put that to use, except for we want this one. Um, now, does rocket launching have its own category, or does that fall under explosives? Because if it falls under explosives, we're already very highly trained in explosives in general. Um, yeah, see, it shows, it shows a rocket launcher there. Yeah, rocket launchers and explosives. So, so we have some pretty good skills in this, you guys. Um, and this is a decent level rocket launcher. It's an A-level rocket launcher. The thing is, is do we have the resources to make the rockets for them? How expensive are those going to be? Um, so let's go back to the the ballistics table here. Oh, we don't even know how to make rockets. Really? Um, okay. We're going to need to be on the lookout then for, for the recipe for these or for the uh, schematics. So wait a minute. Are you saying we need to learn the parts... And on top of that, also the schematic? It's kind of seem seems to imply that here. Okay, well, in that case, I mean, our other option would be to see if we can buy some rocket ammunition. I don't have any in here at all. I suppose we could check. Um, we might be able to use it in really, really bad situations. So, yeah, we'll stop by. I mean, we got to go to the trader anyways to get, get a tier 5. So we'll take a look there and see if they have any rocket ammo. All right, so anyway, let's see. We've got two full stacks of 7.62s. Now, um, we're going to also take two full stacks of 5.56s for this weapon. So this is our backup automatic weapon when the M60 eventually goes kaput. Unless we want to take a repair kit with us to repair the M60... Um, repaired with advanced repair kit. That would be over in here. We have one advanced repair kit. Can we make those? Probably in the workbench. Oh, yes, we can. Okay, you know what then? Let's not take the FAR. And let's just... We'll just keep the M60 with us and we'll repair it out in the field. That's what we'll do.
I mean, you know, this is Undead Legacy, so I almost never repair stuff out in the field. I always just bring it back to the base and repair. But because it's Tier 5, we're going to be out there for a while. And so it makes sense for us to, to repair what's probably going to be our most important weapon out in the field. Okay, so let's see. What are we doing? We're putting these this ammo back. And we need to put the rocket launcher. No, we're going to keep the rocket launcher. That's right, because we're going to see if we can get rockets from the trader for that. So let's make um, a couple more repair kits. I don't know how many we'll actually need. I'm just looking at the resources here. Yeah, I mean, that's that's not super, super expensive. Why don't we make... A, why don't we have a total of five? So we'll craft four more of those. And that should keep us in, in good stead for, you know, keeping repair. Okay, so while that's taking place, we want to really stock up on meds. So let's take, I mean, I'm sure we don't need 10 vitamins. 10 painkillers, 10 vitamins, 5 steroids. Um, let's take that many of those. Uh, we'll do like 5 of those. We're going to need some splints. And I think that's good for meds, for drugs. I need to start taking these on the Horde Knight. Um, let's take some four bites with us if we get into a, a, a really nasty situation. Maybe some recog. So we'll take five of those. And we'll take five of Grandpa's Moonshine. Because we might need the assistance of such things to survive this. I'm not, I'm not going to take it for granted, you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I, I know, I know this tier five is going to be hard. So we're going to, we're going to be as careful as we get. Um, we've got, uh, so we got eye candy. We got some atom junkies if we want to do some major explosives. And we might, I might buy some more of those too. And where is, okay, I got skull crushers. No, I guess that's it. Okay. I think. I think that's good. Let's take our big stacks of high-end food here also with us. And um, we'll leave the sham chowder behind. <laughs> okay, so we're covering on food. For drink, we, have, we only have five mineral water. So let's also take uh, probably the yucca. Or the red tea. The red tea doesn't give us much hydration, but it's got better benefits. Yeah, so let's just take these red teas with us, too. So between those two, hopefully that'll give us enough beverage to survive. All right, guys. I think we're just about ready to head out here. So we have to go to the trader and get uh, the quest and hopefully some more ammo. All this stuff is repaired. So why don't we just take it with us and sell it whilst we're there, which means we should probably take um, a pumpkin, slice of pumpkin in a sugar bus just to get maximum dineros from all of this. Okay, I will meet you guys over at the trader. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm not sure what that something is. So, oh well, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Oh, I know what I'm forgetting. I was going to get even more... Um, M60 ammo. I'm going to grab even more of that, which is going to make us even more heavy. But what we can do is stash some of this in... Do I want to take Roberta with me? I think I do. But we'll put her in quiet mode. And have her hang on to some of this extra ammo just because it's so daggone heavy. What are we doing with this? Oh, we're selling that, right? Well, yeah, once we sell all this stuff, we'll that'll lighten us up. Alright, I'll see you guys at the trader. For sore eyes. Alright, let's look in here. I uh, don't want any of that stuff. We're gonna pop this. Greetings. Greetings. And we're gonna pop this. Okay. 
Okay, and then let's sell first. I know I could have probably put some mods on these, but I don't have a lot of extra mods, actually. Um, so I'm just not going to worry about it. Okay, I think that's it for what we wanted to sell. So we're up to 50,000, 58,000 coin there. Um, now, what are we looking for? We're looking for rocket ammunition. So that's going to be under here if he has it at all, which he does not. Um, let's also look in secret stash. I can't remember if we've checked this secret stash yet or not. I think. I mean, I don't know if we have or not. So. All right. What about... Um, I'm just trying to see if he might have anything for the rocket parts. We need to start looking for those schematics. Y'all come back now. What does it take to... Oh, see, it doesn't... Damn it. It doesn't tell us what the ingredients are. Um... It does for the schematic, but that means these don't have schematics uh, that we can that we ourselves can make. So it means we probably have to find those. Wow, we've been playing this long, and I don't I I don't remember coming across those. That doesn't mean we haven't. I just don't remember. Okay, those aren't better than what we have. He's got military leg armor schematic bar brawl. Brawling Volume 1. Of What's course. the end thing in that? Is that worth having? Collectibles. Bar Brawling. Uh, here. Seventh Unarmed Strike Lend in a short time does 300% damage. We already have the drinking beer no longer blurs your... Oh man, I should have grabbed some beer too. That would have been useful because I forgot I had that. Okay, well anyway, let's take a look at jobs. Tier five, okay. Oh, good. It tells us it tells us the Deshong Tower instead of you know skyscraper one. So that's useful. Which and so we know we can't do that. Uh, a a cracker book would be good because then we'd have you know the the chance of of schematics. Even though the drop rate on this is pathetic nowadays, but still it's better than that. Um, so there's two cracker book towers. One to the north and one to the west. The one to the west is four point six kilometers to the west. Oh, I bet you that's that one that's over in the snow biome. Yeah, I'll bet you, and that's a fetch and clear. Whereas this one's just a clear, and it's four kilometers to the I like north. You, friend. I've got work for you. Let's just do the clear. The clear. Yeah, let's just do the clear. Okay, so. Accept. Well, alrighty then. All right, you guys. We have our first tier five. Our first tier five quest. Um. Okay, so. I still feel like I'm forgetting something. We checked the mini machine. We checked for rocket ammo. He didn't have it. And yeah, okay. So I guess we're as good as we're gonna get. You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna run back to the base and grab some beer. Because we need to take advantage of, you know, the, I think you're completely immune to stun and stuff like that with the beer. And if, it, if we're not gonna have to suffer from the side effects, we should have that with us. Plus I can put the rocket launcher back. Um, so I will meet you guys over at the crack a book and we will do our first tier five quest it's a good thing we came back because the other thing i forgot were these extra advanced repair kits so there you go it was meant to be
I just realized something, you guys. This building is quite a bit different than uh, the last time I was in it. Did we not do Crack a Book at all in our vanilla series? Alpha 20 vanilla series? I do not remember, but it is definitely different than it used to be. Uh, which is cool. I'm excited to do this. Okay, so let's see here. You know, I think... I'm just trying to think if I want to put a bedroll down in case we succumb. Because even if we succumb and screw up the quest, I'm still going to finish it. So, yeah, that would probably be a wise thing to do. So, let's see here. What do we need for the bedroll? I can make that in my own inventory, right? Oh, we need a frickin' tailor station. Seriously? Um, didn't he, didn't think that, think about that, obviously. Is there a place around here we could pick a bed up before we start the quest? Like a, we could find a, um, a house, you know, or something. Down with you. What time is it? Uh, oh, up there. 1900 already. My goodness. Um. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. If if we die, we'll we'll bring the we'll bring the gyrocopter back. Uh, it won't take us that long to get here with the gyrocopter. And uh, I'll, and then I'll also bring a bedroll with me at that point too. Let's check these while we're thinking about it. We might find a schematic. Ooh. Uh, you know what though? I don't care about that. So we'll scrap it for the points. All right. What happened to Roberta, the robotic? Oh, she's right there. I put her in silent mode. You know what I think. Actually, the more I think about it, I don't think I want to take her with me. Um, so let's put her in storage. Just because she can, you know, she'll break stealth. And let's put a few other things in storage too, just to lighten up. We don't need that. That's not really weighing anything. We'll put a couple we'll, we'll take a, a thousand rounds of 762 and maybe split that in half just to lighten up a little bit there um we don't need these power tools mm, i might keep the impact driver with me just in case there's something we we might want to take apart we'll keep the shovel for like getting concrete and stuff like that the axe and the pick uh let's put the sledge turret um down on the toolbar so we can make use of it quickly as needed. And I think we're okay with taking them. We don't need, actually, yeah, we don't need hackers. Uh, we'll probably, well, I'm, we will definitely be getting more research data, so we might as well keep a spot for that. We don't need that or that. Um, don't think we need those shits drops. Uh, we don't need that either. Okay. I think we're as good as we're, <coughs> excuse me, as we're going to get here. Got a couple more Zeeks coming in. Since we are not in the wasteland, um, I'm not quite as concerned about being out at night. But we still have to be careful, though, because of feral sense. So ideally, we should try and secure the place. Oh. Is that where they have you start now? How interesting. Yeah, I I don't think, guys, to my recollection, I don't think I've done the new Crackabook. Not even in vanilla. 
So this is really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing the changes with it. Okay. Well, here goes. Um, you know what? Let's let's cheat just a little bit, just a little tiny bit, <laughs> and grab this cement. Okay. Here we go. And it starts. Okay, so they want us to go up here. Yeah, I'm very interested to see the new changes. Oh! Mm, okay, well, that could have gone worse. Try that again. We jumped over to here. And then over to here. There we go. And then up to here. Wow, they're start having a start from up a lot higher than the old building. You always start on the ground floor in the old building. I guess... We either go that way or this way. I'm thinking this way. Are they going to actually have a start on the roof and work our way down? That's that's really cool if that's the case. Hmm. All right. I mean, I could break into those windows, but I would I would really like to follow the path the first time. So I'm guessing we're going to go around this way. Hmm. Really, though? Is this the way we're supposed to go? I don't see, like, any lights or anything uh, guiding us to, to where we're actually supposed to be. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Whoa. We found it. Okay. Why? Oh, that's because there's a ramp there. I hear a sleeper. That's just a dude down below. Do we have the sneak over trash? Ooh, look at that. Um, I have a feeling like we're gonna get majorly rushed. Let's let me think let me think about this for a second. Let's just not go in guns blazing. I think what we'll do is we'll wake up the first batch and then we'll run back out here and take them on out here because then they're single file. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. You know what else I really need to get into more, you guys, is landmines. Landmines would be so useful in this situation. Um, Let's also have Thumper help us out here a little bit. So we'll put Thumper there. And then we'll get this party started with this guy. Oh, that is a crap ton of red dots. Run! Ah! 